Wire. What would we be able to do without wire as ham radio operators? Wire is the mainstay of our communications. We need wire. We need wire to make the radios work, but we also need wire to radiate our signals. Is there a better wire than other wires to make our signals louder? Will our signals go further if we use a particular wire? Well, it's a question some newbies will ask, of course. The truth of the matter is that we need wire that conducts electricity. And provided it can conduct electricity, it will probably do what we want. But there's so many different types of wire, isn't there? And what is the best wire for your antenna? After all, your antenna is going to be the thing that radiates your signal, sends it all around the world. You want the best wire that you can get for the job, don't you? You don't want to skimp on wire. You might have to spend a bit of serious money on aerial wire. Or maybe not. Quick shout out for the Waters and Stanton retail store and website. We've got a wide range of products in stock. All the popular transceivers, handhelds, antennas, accessories, amplifiers. You'll probably find what you want there and also at a good price. So check out our website. You know, when I was a teenager and had my ham radio license, I'd had it for about, well, I don't know, about a year or so, and I must have spent a lot of time messing about with antennas. I was convinced that there was a secret antenna I hadn't yet discovered, an antenna that was going to send my signal round the world a lot louder than other signals. I didn't actually spend too much time on what wire I used, but I was convinced that there was a wire antenna that was going to really work for me. Well, I wouldn't say I was disappointed, but what actually happened, as I became more and more educated in ham radio and how things worked, I realised that in actual fact, the most important thing about wire was two things. Where would I get it from? And would it be strong enough to stand up to the weather, the wind, the rain, maybe the lightning? Well, actually, no. I, I think most antennas won't stand up to lightning. If they get a strike, then you're not going to have much wire left, apart from a, a child mess and a memory that uh, uh, you just hope that lightning doesn't strike twice. But, yeah, when I was, uh, when I was a youngster, I'm not really sure where I got the wire from. I know, I know really and truly that I used, to, I used to go around all the junk shops. There was a, quite a few junk shops in those days, wall surplus shops and that. And there was plenty of wire to be had. Where it came from, I don't know. There's all sorts of different wires, thick, thin. And uh, some was uh, multi-stranded, some was not multi-stranded. And I also came across hard-drawn copper wire. Now, that really took my attention. I thought... Hard-drawn copper wire, that's the business. That's what I really want, hard-drawn copper wire. It's nice and strong, it looks the business. That's not gonna break. Well, I was right in as much as it wasn't gonna break, but it is not very nice to work with. It's very springy. And yes, it's okay for a permanent anterior installation, but I did try it and I thought, no, I'm not going to use hard-drawn copper again. It's not a nice material to work with. If it was a professional antenna that was going to stay up for 20-odd years, maybe. But no, for me, hard copper wire was not what I wanted. I wanted something a bit more pliable, something easier to work with. And I suppose that I eventually migrated towards multi-stranded wire because that was easier to work with. And the other point, of course, with, with hard-drawn copper is that it very quickly um, will get a... Uh, it very quickly weathers. 
and it doesn't look nice at all. Not to say it doesn't work, but it doesn't really nice. And I always found that probably multi-stranded PVC covered wire was the best thing to do. And I, I got it from various sources. I think I went down to the local um, store, got some speaker wire. Because if you get speaker wire, you get twice as much for the length you buy because you can part it. And of course, the thing is, if you go to your local ironmongers, um, your B&Q, etc., they don't really do single core wire. There's not too much need for it. I suppose for earth wire, you, you could have single core. But basically, if you go to any of these DIY stores, they're going to send you sell you twin flex or three core cable. So speaker wire is not a bad buy, actually. You pull it apart and you've got, as I say, twice the length. It's PVC covered and it's multi-stranded and it works. And by the way, there's not a particular wire that works better than others. If it's copper, then it's going to work. So don't spend too much time worrying about the actual metal content of it. It's probably going to be multi-stranded copper copper wire coated whatever and of course the uh, signal the RF signal only travels on the outside of the uh, wire anyway so sometimes you can get sort of copper coated wire but anyway I think the common thing these days is to get stranded wire now one of the things that I did find early on was I was very quickly running out of wire I was running out of wire because I would cut a length experiment with, experiment with it and then make it a bit shorter because it was too long and then I found that it was a bit too short for what I wanted or I put I discarded it and when I wanted to experiment again this bit of wire which was 30 foot long or 33 foot long whatever it was was no good because I wanted something that was 66 foot long so I'd unroll myself another bit of wire or go down to the shop and get some more speaker wire and I was getting through this wire at a worrying pace it suddenly occurs to me, why am I throwing or discarding all this wire? I could join it together. Now I know I've sometimes been asked, can you join wire together? Yes you can. If you've got to what we've got two lengths of wire, just bear it, twist it together. And you'll say, well okay Peter, that's fine, but that's a bit of a bodge. Well it is a bodge. But if you're experimenting, then you do have to bodge a bit because it saves you quite a bit of money. Don't be frightened of joining wire together. Sometimes I knot it and then put the two, uh, the two wire bits twisted together. And that gives me continuity. So I, my two lengths of 33 foot wire or whatever it is becomes 66 foot. It's got a knot in the center. I grant you it's not very tidy and I certainly wouldn't want to use that as a permanent installation. If you want to make it a semi-permanent installation, get yourself some heat shrink sleeving and put that across the join so that you get it nice and waterproof. And in fact, I have to confess that I have sometimes used that as a permanent insulation. It seemed to survive, it it's, hasn't let me down. And what about the strength of the wire and the weight of the wire? Well, the weight is quite important because wire will sag. So you don't want anything that's too heavy. It doesn't really matter on the thickness of the wire. I mean, you will find that the thicker the wire, the broader the bandwidth of the resonant frequency. But, 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 we're talking about very, very fine differences. So don't worry about the thickness of the wire. Basically, the thickness is the thickness that won't break. That's the guiding point. You want something that won't break. Now, there's all sorts of different types of wire, of course. I mean, I've mentioned speaker wire, and that's cheap and cheerful, but it works. <laughs> I've got some wire up there at the moment, which is only cheap wire. It's been up there for a couple of years now. You can get Kevlar-covered wire. Now, that really is tough, and that will last, I say, a lifetime. It depends how long you live, actually, isn't it? But anyway, it will certainly last a long, long time. So if you want something that's not going to let you down and is really strong, go for Kevlar. But otherwise, go for what you get. Now, there are, um, there is some wire we sell at another shop sell it as well, antenna wire. And it's single core, it's usually multi-stranded, it's usually PVC covered, something like that. And that really is the mainstay of most ham radio antennas. Does it stretch? Well, not really, no. Not that it causes you any problem at all. If it stretches a couple of inches or so on a 
sort of uh, you know, 100 foot length, it's not going to make any difference at all. And uh, so I wouldn't worry about the, uh, the, the stretching of the wire. The main thing is you want something that is strong enough. And don't be frightened of putting two bits of wire together to get what you want. So antenna wire, it's very, very important because without antenna wire, you can't really radiate a signal. And we all want to radiate signals. But you don't have to spend a lot of money on wire. And really and truly, ever throw it around. And if you see a coil of wire, just take the covering off and see what it is. Chances are you can use it. And it doesn't matter if you cut two different wires joined together. It will still work. It will still work and you'll get great enjoyment out of it. And it won't cost you a lot of money. And uh, sorry about the noise. We've got some seagulls. I mean, we're about five miles from the sea, I think, yeah? So that, that normally heralds bad weather. I don't know whether that came across at all, but apologies for that if it did. Anyway, so that's my take on wire. Don't overspend on wire. Don't worry too much about what it is. Provided it doesn't break, provided it's got copper content in it, it should be okay. And for my recommendation, PVC multi-stranded copper wire is ideal for the job. It serves me through the whole of my ham radio career, really. So there we are. So, a very short video, really, about antenna wire. I hope I've been able to teach you, I don't say to teach you, pass on my experience. That's what I'm doing, pass on my experience. Hope it's been of help to you. In the meantime, enjoy your ham radio. You take care, and as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.